Now you're telling us that you live with your baby daddy and you think a quality man is going to want to date you in this position in your life. I don't see why not. <laughs> All right, I mean, we're not together, like. But when's the last time you was intimate with someone? You don't have to answer. Three weeks ago. With your child's father? Mm-hmm. Bro. 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 <laughs> Man. Why are you out here dating, dog? You don't even have your own house. You still live with your baby's dad. You're still being intimate with this man. I just don't get it. And you're looking for a high value man. Y'all, tell me, <laughs> tell me, how, this is fucking hilarious, my guys. You honestly didn't think anything was wrong with this. No, not really, because I know where my heart is at. Man, if you just had intimacy with Yo, man, not too long ago, bro. This man's body oils, his fluids, we know where they at, though. They inside. You can't tell me y'all not having them, you know, y'all not wrapping it up. Y'all not keeping it safe. That's your baby daddy. He's sliding in there. Skin to skin action. Skin to skin action. Creating some friction. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all, I feel bad for the man that actually agrees to date this person. Because I know she's going to be lying a lot. She's gonna be lying saying I live at home by myself. The situation is he comes over and watch the kids sometimes. The situation is we don't do anything. Uh, the situation is I'm not in love with him no more. Meanwhile, she getting her cheeks clap every night. We know the we we know the truth. No cheap men. So what's cheap to you? Going to Applebee's. <laughs> He's like I don't do chain restaurants, like five star restaurants, like. Like stuff that you just never heard about. No chain restaurants. Ma'am, please name 10 non-chain restaurants in your area. Give me 10. I bet you don't know 10. Let's do the Kendrick Cam. Let's see. Let's see you, girl. Five star. Don't play with it. You built like a sloppy whopper junior, man. Mm. All you get is five onion rings with the extra zesty sauce. You don't get a five star restaurant. Not even the extra zesty sauce. She taking, I'm taking her to Piccadilly's, all right? We're going to slide these trays down the line. We're going to have the girl scoop on our food like it's old cafeteria style. Like, <laughs> this is the type of girl you got to take one hour away from where you actually live because you don't want to be seen with her just yet. All right, this is the uh, this is the type of person that y'all going to picnic and you order DoorDash and then you have to go meet the DoorDash at the start of the park because you still <laughs> <laughs> I'm going off, though. Yeah. I, I don't even want to be gay no more. Like, Adam and Scar so bad by stanky cats that it just ain't worth it. Like, you see them on the social media, and you be like, damn, they fine. Then when they take the clothes off of you, you be like, damn, they stink. Oh, they stink from the front, and they stinking from the back. They stinking from the front and they stinking from the back. Front smell like fish tank, back smell like hot dog water. <sighs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. So she starts twerking and I'm not gonna lie, it was a odor and it was- Ooh, what was that odor y'all? What was that odor y'all? That thing smelled like two beta fighting fish going at it, huh? That thing smelled like some salt water the bottom you never know, guys for my guys that actually fish y'all know when y'all take the boat out of the water y'all supposed to clean the boat right when y'all get back home y'all gotta hose it down y'all gotta you know scrub it down because it leaves that old swamp water smell <laughs> she, she got that whole under the boat water fish smell huh? a body odor yo we was feeling bad for her because she just finished throwing up mm -hmm. as soon as that bitch turns around Pump that ass in the air. Oh, oof, why came out of that ass? Oh yeah, she must have really been, dude. What the hell was she smelling like? She got a whole gaggle of women talking about that cooch. Man, that is wild. That is wild, bro. How you this old and just don't know about your hygiene, dude? I don't know. Swamp ass is a real thing. Adults, men. Y'all know what time it is. Stay up on your hygiene. Do wipes, baby wipes, baby powder, all those things to keep, you know, whatever it may be. Body spray, deodorant, all those things, man. Stay up on your hygiene. Quick question, fellas. Do you feel less of a man if a woman is paying for the date? I nope. just really want to know. Like, 
Do y'all feel some type of way if the woman pull out her cash or her credit card or whatever to pay for the meal? Like, I just need to know. Is that wrong for us to pay? No, I'm really, look, really guys, I know we talk about this a lot, but man, just to let y'all know something about me personally. I'll pay the bill, dude. I'll pay the bill. I'm, I'm, I'm cool. But I have a kind of a test. The test is, will the girl offer to pay for dessert somewhere else? Will that woman offer to leave the tip? Now she says, look, thank you for the bill. Please, at least let me leave the tip. Then I'm like, oh, okay. We, we got us one, y'all. We got us one, you know? She obviously ain't trying to pay for the whole meal, but she wants to contribute somehow, some way. And her, con her contribution is 20%. So you can almost think, hey, she might be willing to go 50-50 if she splits the bill. She might be willing to go all 100 and take care of you. She doesn't have, uh, mon money is not an object with her, so she'll buy you things. She, let me get this, I got it. Or if she says, let me cover the tip, she means she's modest, she's a virtuous woman probably, she's walking in her femininity, and she might come with that 80-20 rule. You know, you take care of 80, she, she's gonna want out of her own willingness to take care of the 20%. I, I don't know, that's just my observation. All right, guys, she just, let me just go ahead and pause this video because right now this girl name is Drea. This girl's name is Drea Woman's name is Drea Nicole. She is kind of going viral because she says that, hey, she was in a lift and the dude was trying to take her somewhere. And you know, the story of, you know, can't say a lot of these keywords, but y'all get where I'm going. He was trying to take her where she wasn't trying to go pretty much so she jumps out the car gets all hit up busted up pretty much so people are wondering if this is real of course you got internet fact checkers everywhere well let's just see how this story unfolds because not only did she get caught in her own story she did something else you're gonna see what i'm talking about i almost died jumping out of a moving lift yeah because the lift driver was trying to kick so i work at the clinton outlets in connecticut if you live in connecticut you know the clinton outlets is exit 63 i live in new haven connecticut which is about 30 30 minute rise when i got a female driver i was so happy y'all so happy and the crazy thing about it is lift had gave me a female driver and then Lyft switched it and gave me another female driver because she was closer. Yesterday, um, Lyft gave me a notification saying, okay, your ride is outside. So, you know, I got my things ready, got my bag. I, I went outside. I the, the license plate, the car, the driver, everything matched the picture on Lyft. Everything was correct. Okay. The driver, she had like this accent. I can tell she was foreign. Before we got off exit 63, she was on the phone with with some man. And she was like explaining to them what I was wearing. I didn't think too much of it because first she was speaking another. It sounded like Turkish. Man, get the, get out of here. It sounded like Turkish. Ma'am, are, are you reading a plot from the movie Taken right now? Name, I, dude, I can listen to a bunch of Turkish people and wouldn't understand what kind of language it is, all right? And I really wouldn't, uh, like, how do you know that off the bat? Do you speak Turkish? All right. I just don't, uh, bro. Language. I don't know what she was speaking on the phone with this man. She, the language she was speaking, it sounded like it was, she was from the Middle East. or. But she said something in English when she was on the phone with the man, which is weird because she was speaking another language. And then all of a sudden she started to say dark, dark skin, red sweater. When she said, she said, no, she said red sweater, dark skin. When she said red sweater, dark skin, I had on a red sweater and I'm dark skin. So she was describing whoever she was on the phone with. She was describing me to that person, what I was wearing, how I looked, which was weird. I did not, I did not think too much of it because I was about to be to work. I was almost to my destination. So you know what? Even though I was nervous, I'm like, okay, I'm going to just let, I'm going to just let God handle the rest. You know, I'm about to be to my destination i'm gonna just let her take me to my destination but we got off basically she goes on to explain like hey 
She felt very scared, terrified, and then uh, she went ahead and jumped out of a moving car. Got all banged up, all right? So of course, we're like, where's the receipts? Where's this story at? Blah, blah, blah. You know, like, what's going on here? Because you don't look like you just kind of just jumped out. This looks like you kind of put some makeup on. But anyway, let's check her out two months later. I'm so sorry, y'all. I could not finish the video the other day. I was not right emotionally. I had a lot on my plate. Everything was the incident happened. That is why my face looks better. But the damage is, is already done. The trauma is still there. Let me finish the story. Okay, so we got off exit 63. The Lyft driver, she had to turn left to get to my destination once you get off exit 63. The Lyft driver had her left turn signals on. Mind you, she had her left turn signals on. So she knew, even she knew she had to turn left. Even the GPS told her she had to turn left. Guess what she did? She ended the ride and got back on the highway. We were almost to my destination. She got back on the highway while I was still in the car. I'm like telling her, ma'am, you passed my destination. What are you doing? This lady did not say nothing. And I'm like, girl, what are you doing? She told me to shut up. She didn't have to tell me nothing else. I jumped out that car so fast. I jumped out the car while it was moving. That shit hurt so bad. I thought I was going to die because she was going fast. Like, you know, when somebody's trying to kidnap you, they try to go fast. They try to like get away with it fast. That's how fast she was going while I was jumping out the car. You know, that day I thought I was never going to see my mom again. I thought I was never going to see my dad again. I thought it was it. Like, it felt like a movie, y'all. It felt like I was in a movie. Dog, this, this whole time watching her, it's like she is emotionless. She is emotionless. Like, through the whole other story, tears, the, the the usual cracks up in the voice, you know, the pause, the all this, and we're not getting any of that. I, this, this is just boys. Be straight BS. Like, I keep replaying the scenario in my head. When I jumped out the car, all I can remember is holding my head. I was bleeding out my head. I was bleeding in my other parts of the body, but it was mainly in my my head. And I was holding my head while I was walking to the plaza because I needed to go somewhere where there was a lot of people just in case she tried to come back and, you know? So I just walked to the plaza. It literally took me like 10 seconds. That's when I called the cop. Mind you, this incident happened a couple days before my birthday. I thought I wasn't gonna make it home to spend time with my family. Mind you, mind you, mind you, mind you, you might have been mine. Mind you, we don't have any receipts. We haven't had the, uh, the, the, the picture of who this was, man, the license plate. Yeah, I'm sure something's in the lift that, that says, hey, he was trying to get to work. We don't have any of that right now. All right, so people called out on it. Come to find out, man, they, she, she's, she's fibbing. She is fibbing her ass off. She's telling a long story. They created this wild GoFundMe page and all this other stuff just to what, for a money grab? I mean, dog, y'all gotta be careful when these videos go viral. Some people know how to tell a phenomenal story and make it seem so real. But anyway, thank goodness they got people out here that likes to fact check before they uh, donate and call people out because some, you know, women know makeup. <clears throat> Excuse me. Women know makeup and women know emotion. So for some reason, she got caught up. But this is not the, the crazy part. Drea Nicole, she is what I would say someone odd. She would go on to be found. She pretty much stole someone else and else's victim car. Is probably how I would like to say it. So basically, here's what really happened. Jumped out of that moving else. car because of her driver's suspicious behavior. Good evening, live from downtown Raleigh. I'm Lauren Johnson. Hi, everyone. I'm Steve Daniels. This evening, 17-year-old Azia Bowden is recovering from injuries after she jumped out of that lift car. It happened on Fox Road in Raleigh near 540 and Lewisburg Road. And that's where Cindy Bay is live tonight with the details. This is really incredible what happened, Cindy. Yes, Steve and Lauren, and we just learned from Raleigh police that there were no charges in this incident, but that's not enough for Isaiah Bowden. Earlier, she told me how she'd hoped there'd be more consequences after this terrifying experience. Oh, how many boys flirted with you? He said that right away. It wasn't long until Isaiah Bowden felt uncomfortable in a lift ride home. After two minutes of her driver's behavior, 
oh, you just look good. I would date you if you weren't so young. Bowden says the driver then sprayed something that she says made her dizzy and warm. Drea Nicole, <clears throat> you should be ashamed of yourself. All right, you're stealing someone else's victim card. You're stealing someone else's true hurts and pain and trying to benefit from it. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. And guys, y'all know better. We shouldn't be out here trying to fall, playing, hitting girls with the sympathy card at all because you need to double up and make sure these things are accurate. Man, what are some of the things that a girl could do, a woman could do, like little small things to show your appreciation? Like how men get women flowers or cards or like edible arrangements or something cute. What could somebody get y'all? I feel like they don't have a lot of stuff for men. Y'all just... Y'all don't get nothing. <laughs> y'all don't get nothing! Ironically speaking, guys, if y'all follow my page a lot and see my one of my recent posts, I actually posted a, a, a post similar to this question. What do guys... If women get flowers, what is the equivalent for men? Or I said, what will men really want? And we have hundreds of comments on this post. I appreciate you guys. But nonetheless, to say the most over, uh, over, though, the most common response is a little bit of that H E uh, A D, the Hawk Tour. <laughs> now, I don't know if you guys are just out there, bro. Hawk Tour deprived, my guys. Uh, I feel you. I feel you. So if you. <laughs> If you give your girl flowers, you expect a little bit of that hog to a return, bro. Hey, hey, look, I didn't say this. The post said it, bro. We got a over a high percentage of men was just like, that's what their equivalent is. That's what they see equivalent to it. Hey, that answers the question right there. I don't think any man would turn some of that down. Since everybody acting like they scared to say it, I'm going to say it. I couldn't work at a prison. Mm. I'll be all back there in the cell with men, especially the finals. What you mm. been here for, boo? For real, you did all that? And they locked you up for it? So what you want me to sneak you in, an Xbox or an iPhone? Girl, I have an Xbox all in my ass trying to get it through there. Oh my goodness, God. Bro, she might have been joking about the Xbox, but I know she ain't joking about the dudes in the back, bro. If you got females that's working in a correctional facility, whatever, a holding facility, whatever it may be, bro. Men will try to get at your girl left and right every shift, 40 hours a week, dog. 40 hours a week. They have, they don't care. They in there. Well, what they got to lose at this point? But what does she have to gain? Yeah, bro. If she's a little bit on the freaky side, she's single. Even if she's with someone, she's just getting all this attention. You just don't know, bro. You're going to tell me she's going to say no all the time, bro. We hear the stories, we've seen the proof, we've seen the videos, we just seen the video the other day of a prison car. Married with kids, letting this dude beat her down while getting filmed in the UK. And she's smiling the whole time, like she having a good old time, dog. It didn't take much. It doesn't take much. I like a guy that could be around me and not pay me no mind. You could be a regular dude, a dude with mad bread, whatever it is. When I walk in the room, you're like, what's up? Regular. And it's regular, and I'm like, oh. What he but, don't like that, about me? But, so to get you, you gotta ignore you. But then when I get you, I gotta want you. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. You're gonna get punched in the throat. Period. Yeah, uh, girls are backwards, bro. Girls are backwards. They have this crazy thinking. This is might just be her. But some of the best ways to get a girl gets a girl's attention, especially if the girls that really think they're high caliber. They just they they put all this stuff on. Man, they out there. They feeling like they're a dime piece, and you might also think they're a dime piece. You might say hello and that's it, but ignore them. You might get their attention because now they're attention deprived or they're like, dude, what, what's up with this dude? How how does it not, he, he not want dress like this? Why is he at least catching my eyes? They take pride in that type of stuff. So here's the thing with those type of women, man. Those relationships don't last long, dude. All that shit is just superficial and is attention driven. If you don't feed into that energy and feed into giving her that attention, 
It's not going to last. Let me tell you something brutally honest about men. And this is something that we all probably know, but you're denying because you're protecting yourself or you really like him or your judgment's clouded or you've been dickmatized. If he really wants to date you, you huh. will know. Within the first month to three months, you will be his girlfriend. If you are not his girlfriend within that time, he probably doesn't want to date you. There are exceptions. I can't speak for everybody, but he probably does not want to date you. And he probably has said to you, I don't want to date you or I'm not looking for a relationship. Now, when men say this, they're not lying. Men don't play hard to get. He's telling you exactly what he wants, which is not a relationship with you. And it doesn't matter how great you are. It doesn't matter how amazing you are. He just doesn't want to date you. Oh. Ah, and the girls would not like that answer, bro. They would not like that answer. Women hate when they get friends on. Women absolutely get crushed when they get friends on. They really do. They really do get crushed. And it's it's really nice, but you can men could be brutally honest and they still wouldn't be able to accept that. All right. They wouldn't be able to take to the fact that they did everything they're supposed to do and this man didn't want them, they feel crushed by it. But let a man, let's flip the cars. A man can do everything. Buy you a brand new car. Take you on all these trips. All right? Do all this and still get friend zone. All right? Go above and beyond and still get friend zone. But meanwhile, women can get friend zone just by, just because I, I yeah, you're just really not my type. And they just feel destroyed by it.